The Abu Seta naval base is just one of the many centers in Libya hosting refugees and migrants, most of them intercepted offshore by Libyan coast guards. In the month of June this year, the Libyan coast guard had already disembarked more than 7,000 people. It's always numbers, people arriving in Europe, people being disembarked, it's always, always numbers. And I think it is important to remember that it's not about numbers, it's about people. These are women, these are men, these are children, desperate people that uh, are risking their lives and often losing their lives uh, to uh, go to a better future. UN and its partners provide support to refugees taken ashore in Libya. But Grandi is concerned by the rising number of people risking their lives in search of a better future. It's a very long chain and we need to work at every, every step of the chain. This is not a, a situation that can be resolved only in one point, only in Libya or only in Europe or only in Niger. This is why I'm visiting Libya but also uh, Niger and Mali, countries that are countries of, of transit as well and of destination of refugees to mark the fact that this is a very complex situation that needs very strategic uh, cooperation. Thousands of people have died trying to cross the Mediterranean in search of a better life. The International Organization of Migration estimates the number to have been more than 6,000 in 2017. Chambono CGTN.